and changes. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. And I uh, got a request to see some of the bulk inventory. We sold a bunch of it. So uh, the scrubs went pretty fast. We have quite a few boxes of the bottoms. The tops pretty much wiped out. Uh, if I get any more, I'll let you know. But um, the bottoms, we have four boxes here, but I still have like probably 10 to 12 boxes of bottoms. They're 100 pieces. They're $225 plus shipping. I'll get you a quote. Um, of course, just email me, uh, rockstarflipper.gmail.com address and paypal and i'll take care of the rest now the newest one which you guys asked people run from this and i don't understand if you get a good enough price and a good enough deal it's all lularoe so here let me get around this angle because you guys can probably see it better so this is like classic dresses shirts there's entire bins of leggings right here all these are leggings pretty much um it was right at 14 i think it was like 1398 pieces so right at 1400 pieces and if you can get a good enough price and by good enough price Usually for brand new with tags, if you're selling them individually and you can average 15 to $20 on most of the pieces, you can pay like three bucks would be the cutoff. I'd really try to say like $2 to 250, somewhere in that neighborhood is really a good price if you're you know buying them individually. If, if I see them at a thrift store or garage sale like you guys do for two bucks or 250, I'd say jump on them. People say run away, but 300,000 pieces of LuLaRoe sell every day on eBay, and um, that's not counting Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook groups, local. I mean, it still sells. I know it doesn't sell like it used to at all. I mean, people used to get 40 and $50 for this stuff, but now it's still $20 pieces on a lot of them, especially the dresses. Some people love the comfort comfortability of it. Is that the comfort? I guess whatever. Anyways, um, so they still buy it. And some of this stuff, we don't know if this is like this year's style, last year, some people can't find certain ones. so. They're always looking for this sort of thing. Just, you know, two, 225 is probably target. And so that's pretty much like, if you wanna buy it from me, that's what I'm gonna sell it to you for is $2.25. You can buy a box of a hundred, you know, shirts or dresses or leggings. I'll get a list together and put it up. And if anyone's interested, um, email me as well, rockstarflipper.gmail.com. So people were like, oh, show us the warehouse. Um, again, only part of this is my stuff. This is mainly all drive time with Dave's. I don't use that much bubble wrap in a lifetime. I don't even know who needs that much bubble wrap, but there's a the bubble wrap. I think this building, if I remember correctly, is 3,200 or 3,400 square feet. Uh, it's outside, it's disconnected. So I'll show you, there's a second building. That one has the air conditioning, right? That one has the air conditioning, there's my car. And then this one is separate. So this is like whatever, over 3,000 feet. So um, I basically just give him money to uh, be able to store all my stuff. So I have 14 pallets in here right now. So you guys can see those couple of pallets worth of stuff right there. And then, um, oh, by the way, if the audio sucks on this, I don't have my microphones, obviously. So we have pallets of clothes and plush that I bought here that came out of a storage unit I bought really cheap. There's still some remotes over there, still working on two pallets and remotes there. And then if we come back through the rest of the building, um, there's still a couple of pallets, which two of these Gaylords of remotes are sold. I sold two of them, so they're gone. Um, I don't think we're gonna have any more Gaylords. I might have two Gaylords of cable remotes uh, mixed with and without backs. Most of them uh, probably 50-50, I guess, maybe a little less. I'd probably sell them locally to anyone in Tampa who wants them for like 100, 150 bucks. So if you're local and you want those, let me know. They're all cable modem or cable remotes though, so keep that in mind. Uh, untested, used, unclean, just as is, but it's a whole pallet. It's like 2,500 plus remotes. So. That's kind of just a look in the warehouse. Now, the reason people were asking about like, when I move, getting a new building is because there's no air conditioning in here. It's really hard to work. You can't work in here for more than like an hour or two. I mean, there's the building, right? Because it just, in the Florida heat, especially it's about to be summer, it can be 95 degrees outside. It feels like it's 105 in this building. It's just impossible. We use some of those orange fans. We had like two of them hooked up before, but it just doesn't do it. So what we've been doing is hauling stuff in bins. Clearly we have tons and tons of bins. When I buy stuff, I get bins and I had bins myself. And um, so more bins over there, more bins up there. So what we do is we load remotes or load clothes or load whatever in four or five bins, haul it back to the house and then work on it in a comfortable condition. Well, with the new house, I didn't want to overwhelm it with inventory. I will take some back there, of course, 
whatever we list individually and some wholesale boxes from time to time. But that's why I'm really looking for a new place closer to the house. One, it's closer. This is about 30 minutes from where I'm gonna be living. And two, air conditioning, a good spot, you know? Um, it's gonna cost a little more money because I only give, you know, drive time, to be honest with you guys, I only give them, you know, a few hundred bucks a month. But, um, you know, a new place might be a thousand bucks, 1200 bucks plus electric and internet and cable and alarm and all that. I'd probably be, you know, committing to like a $2,000 uh, a month expense. But, you know, this is what it is. It's part of, you know, part of business, part of growing, part of all that stuff. So that's kind of just a look inside of uh, the warehouse, what we have now. Um, like I said, we have probably eight to 10 boxes of scrub bottoms, $225 plus shipping if you want those. Uh, we have boxes of remotes, 100 remotes with no backs. Uh, probably be able to sell five or 10 of those in the coming weeks. Uh, they'll be $75 plus shipping. And then we have the LuLaRoe stuff, which I'll put out, I'll try to get a list to put on um, my email list. If you're not on my email list, go to rockstarflipperonline.com and join the email list and I'll send it out uh, with the inventory that we have available. And then we'll sell those boxes as well. If you're interested in the LuLaRoe directly, just shoot me the email and I'll, uh, I'll help you get in line for that. But we got to go through that. So it's going to be available all this weekend and next week. All right, so that's a little bit of the warehouse tour. Um, it's basically just storage. This isn't like an office that we work out of. It's just storage. So if you're in the market, you're looking for somewhere to work out of, make sure it has air conditioning. If you live up north, trust me, you'll still want heat and air conditioning or something, you know, comfortable conditions uh, to, to process in. If you're, you know, processing inventory or have employees or have a place to list and a shipping table and all that. We just don't have any of that available here. So that's why we always haul it back and forth places, which made it a nightmare at the resort. Trust me. Okay, I'll leave you guys with that. Have a great weekend. Uh, I'll hopefully get this video uploaded before it's too late tonight because I got to drive back to Orlando to do it. And in the meantime, if you need anything else, you know how to comment down below or email me directly and I will get back to you right away. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.